Welcome to the Francis D. Jones Library and Information Commons. In 1995, our library was dedicated in the honor of Dr. Francis D. Jones, who was one of the founding members of Forest Institute at Springfield and our first Dean of Students. Forest Library supports the academic mission of the, of the Institute. We support the research needs of the students and the teaching needs of the faculty. This tour will help acquaint you with the collections, services, and policies of our library. Our library is staffed by a full-time librarian, two full-time assistants, and about a dozen student workers who help staff the circulation desk during the 80 plus hours that we are open during the week. Please be aware that our hours may vary depending on holidays and class schedules. For up-to-date library hours, check out the schedule on the door or the library calendar on our website. Our collection specializes in clinical psychology and PsyD concentrations or other programs such as applied behavior analysis or the counseling psychology program. Our entire collection is categorized by the Library of Congress system and our journals and theses are categorized alphabetically. Our collections include our AV collection, our diversity collection, and here we have our new books that have been purchased within the last month. And it's also important to note that at the end of each stack are labels that tell you which section that you are by. As you can see, we're coming up to the reference collection here. And over here we have our special collections, our Young and Freud collections, and over here is still special collections. We also have our capstone projects, our theses and dissertations in this section here. And here begins our journal, our print journal collection. And if you would like to have access to our e-journals or any of our e-books, you can access them through our library website. And around the corner here begins our general collection. And it starts here from the right and goes to the left to the edge of the room. Additionally, we maintain a collection of tests and instruments for students' use. Please consult our test inventory or search the catalog to see a list of our entire collection. Due to ethical and legal requirements, tests in the library collection can only be used as a part of classroom-related activities. They are not available for personal use or to support clinical service delivered separately from ongoing training. For more information, see the test collection policy available at the circulation desk or on the library website. Loan periods for our collection are as follows the general collection, diversity collection, special collections, and Young and Freud collections all have loan periods of six weeks with one renewal of three weeks. The new books section has a one week checkout period and no renewals. Books requested through Swan or Mobius can be checked out for three weeks with two renewals of three weeks each. All reference material, items on the internship shelf, periodicals, capstone projects, theses and dissertations are for library use only. Two and four hour reserve can be checked out overnight as long as they are checked out within the, an hour before closing and returned within an hour before open. St. Louis reserve items are checked out for three days. Videos in the AV collection can be checked out for three days and up to five titles at a time. You can have no renewals on these items. Finally, all testing material is due same day by the library closing time. This is the library circulation desk. This is where you would check in, return, or renew books from the Forest Library or another library. If no one's at the desk, please ring the bell. When you're ready to check out your materials, please present your Forest ID badge to the staff member at the desk. They will scan it, and they'll check out your material on the computer, and you'll receive a due date slip with the item. Your Forest ID badge is also your library card. The barcode on the back of the badge represents your library patron ID. This number is used to check out and request books from Forest or another Swan or Mobius library. You can also use this number to access your library account online. Incoming students will receive a business card with this number and their copy code as a handy reference. There are security gates to prevent the loss of library materials. If the alarm sounds, please return to the circulation desk. If you're returning materials, you can either hand it off to the staff member at the desk or use the book drop. All library reserve materials must be checked out and requested at the library circulation desk. Our course reserves include required textbooks, recommended books, books with required readings, and course videos. All these can be checked out for a two or four hour period of time. You can check them out more than once as long as no other student or faculty member has requested them. Other reserve materials include three brain models, test prep information for the NCE and EPPP. We also have a permanent reserve collection that has varying loan periods, but this includes our treatment planners, 
as well as the forest catalogs. Other services we provide include interlibrary loan, which can be used to request items not available through or owned by forest. We also have research consultations, which can be scheduled for in-depth discussion of research topics with the head librarian. To schedule a consultation, you can fill out the online form or contact the head librarian via email. The library common area provides comfy seating and plenty of outlets for laptops, even installed in the tables. We also have most recent editions of newspapers, such as the Springfield Newsleader, the Business Journal, and the Chronicle of Higher Education. Please be aware of the policies that might be applicable in the common area, though, such as our quiet policy that states that all cell phones should be turned off or placed in vibrate mode and all calls should be taken outside of the library. Additionally, food and drink are allowed but should be kept in the proper containers. If you have any questions or would like to look into more information about our policies, you can check out our Policies at a Glance page that's located at the Circulation Desk. Or you can also check out our policies on the library website. The library has meeting rooms available for student use that are excellent for group work, student activities, um, setting up test administrations, or videotaping class assignments. These rooms are used on a first-come, first-served basis, or they can be reserved ahead of time at the library circulation desk. The signs outside of the doors let you know if the room has already been reserved at a certain time or on a certain day. The Writing Center also has an office in the library that is staffed by our Writing Center fellows, and they offer advice on APA-style general writing critiques, and you can set up an appointment with them, or you can show up during any time during office hours. The library has over two dozen computers, six of which are in the common area and 23 in the computer lab. To access any of the computers, you must log in using your Forest Network username and password. All the computers are equipped with Microsoft Office, and some of them also have specialized programs such as SPSS or RoarScan. Additionally, some computers have memory card readers and DVD burners. Like the meeting rooms, please pay attention to the sign outside the door to make sure that the computer lab is not already reserved for a class, such as a lab or a training. Also remember, don't forget to take your flash drive with you, or else the library will have to hold on to it until it's claimed for HIPAA concerns. For your own safety and security, please log off of your PC when you are done. Do not lock the PC. All computers automatically log out after 15 minutes of inactivity. This table on the east wall has a paper cutter, stapler, pencil sharpener, and electric three-hole punch for student use. We also have three printers, two of which can be used for copies and scans. The one on the left has a binder minder that's used best for copying or scanning books. This helps keeps the book from getting damaged during the copying process. The one on the right has a document feeder used for if you have a lot of single pages to copy or scan. All scans or copies cost five cents a page. To use any of the printers or scanners, you have to use your copy code. If you forget your code or if you need any refunds, please contact the library staff during regular office hours. Printing charges are based on the number of prints or scans made under your network username. You are responsible for any prints, copies, or scans made using your username or code. Don't forget to log off the printers or PCs. All chargers are updated to student accounts at the end of each semester. The library also has AV materials for checkout, such as extension cords, video camera with memory cards, flash drive, digital voice recorder, LCD projector, and a laptop. The library provides faxing services as well. The fax machine can be used to send or receive faxes for students. Fax cover sheets are located at the circulation desk. Keep in mind that staff may not be able to send your fax immediately. Please be aware that the library staff cannot send or receive faxes that include any confidential client information. Additionally, the library has a non-secure paper shredder. We also provide recycling services for paper products and batteries. The library highlights its resources with various displays. The thesis and dissertation display located at the library doors features resources to help students who are working on their thesis, doctoral, or other research projects. We have also prepared a bibliography of other materials that may be helpful that are not included in the display. The library also has monthly exhibits that spotlight topics of interest for students and faculty, as well as National Awareness Months. An example is LGBT Awareness Month in October. All materials on display circulate normally. The two bulletin boards on the south wall are used to proudly display the posters students have presented at annual conferences. If you have recently presented at a conference, bring your poster by the library and it will be displayed for a month. Thank you for joining us on this tour. 
For more in-depth library orientation, please sign up for a session at the beginning of each term. A complete library orientation will include the following. How to request items through the catalog, how to find full text content, and an introduction to our online resources. For more information, please visit our website at www.forest.edu library.